Hello and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 as we continue our game with Portugal. We are still in the middle of the war against Spain. Uh, we are uh, the objective of the war is for us to form a personal union with them under our ruler. Our ruler is uh, 30 something, 35 years old, so hopefully he will um, he will live until 70 uh, something, one should hope. And after we finish the, this, we will improve relations all the way so that hopefully uh, they will continue in under our uh, under our uh, influence hopefully one can hope and as you guys let's check out the score so i can explain this better uh score comparison uh let's see for the score so we are now fourth as you can see right there and we are uh claiming the throne of the second right there so hopefully uh we will uh gain that much more war score and we will gain a lot more manpower as well although we will have to contend with uh, France uh, if we annex them if we integrate them uh, later on so yep this is pretty much it they are trying to siege the two provinces of, our, of ours uh, they won't uh, really well only one because we lift the siege of Andalusia already so uh, let's wait for them to join a bit uh, I am going to put uh, these guys uh, over somewhere well apparently they are going for Madrid so we are going there as well let's move there uh, move to Madrid uh, a bit of a lag there and then to Castilla la Vieja la Vieja I do apologize so they are moving to Castres uh, okay so let's move all right there just in case they are going to move to Madrid most likely if they can nope they didn't move to madrid awesome we will crush them we are not gaining any more war score i think nope from the battles uh, we are not gaining any more war score but it is uh, good to crush their army so we will continue to do so apparently this army right there was trying to go to madrid we'll do nope not that so we have a revolt right there uh, this army will probably take care of it so no worries there uh, we are gaining uh, quite a bit of uh, we are uh, running our economy to the ground with uh, this war well not so much to the ground we are still making a, b a fair bit of money there but uh, we we are losing uh, some uh, modifiers we are taking some modifiers that are not so good in some uh, provinces uh, due to rebellions and such this is a, a really bad time to do uh, this war because we have the liberty, equality and fraternity uh, national um, I apologize this was my cell phone uh, we have those uh, national um, the, the, that national um, that national modifier so we really do need to take that into consideration uh, we are continuing to crush these little armies so they don't join and be a pain uh, Spain let's see the army of Spain let's check it out um, okay they have 6,000 men and their manpower is <laughs> really really low 18,000 well 19,000 let's say that 19,000 so uh, they are trying to recruit uh, guys left and right and we captured a ship there hopefully it was a galleon or something better than that uh, let's see let's actually see uh, pause pause god damn it uh, the lag is trying to kill me uh, they have a 22 diplomatic technology uh, and at 22 uh, it was a two decker hopefully let's see if we have our first two decker yes we do we have a two decker and it was from uh, spain lovely L Spain uh, is starting to supply us with <laughs> two deckers uh, it's the second best ship well it's the second best heavy ship at least so regulation of the medical profession um, we shall let's find Yui what no 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 Yui shall there what do you produce gold Goods produce plus 5%. Let's take it. 
this way they will produce a bit more gold which is lovely uh, they are starting to face rebellions and apparently they are going to move to our lands so let's put those guys there we go let's put those guys in um, automatic rebel suppression we are going to crush that little army there it does not give us any war score whatsoever but uh, we will get a bit more uh, peace of mind since they will not have that uh, army well the army will not be being uh, will not uh, join so apparently we have ports blockaded in Maranhão, Ceará and Rio Grande and they Naples is trying to crush <laughs> ah god damn it okay you where the heck is this guy going actually it's going over to our guy so good uh, that was fun sell it we need the money so let's do so although we also needed the prestige but that's fine uh, let's uh, wait for those guys to finish Castilian Patriots oh okay so we won good and now let's move all the way down here because apparently Naples is trying to get to us uh, did we gain a bit more war score from what? Blockade, okay, so blockade is... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's from a uh, controller. We are controlling Madrid, so that is why we are gaining a bit more war score. Let's crush that uh, Madrid... Uh, that army in Madrid. We'll do this. We can invest in this, which would actually not that... Uh, wouldn't be that bad, but... I am going to wait until we can actually uh, invest with uh, without uh, losing that much uh, administrative power. We won the Siege of Toledo, joy, and let's see how much it matters, 1.6, so not so much. Let's go and, well, let's pick it. Let's see the, one of the best provinces and try to siege through it. So Barcelona is a good one, so we'll go to Barcelona and try to siege it. I am going to detach a small blockade maybe we'll see how it goes uh, let's wait for them to join a bit so we don't have to play whack-a-mole that much uh, we will win this well no question about it the provinces that uh, matter the most are the ones that have the best income and they then they will uh, as you can see here 8 Madrid has 11 uh, Toledo 8 well, but this one is an important center of trade, although it is looted. So let's... Uh, grain being produced, good. Now uh, it is time to move, hopefully. Uh, when do... Will the 6th of April, okay. So if I move... 8th, good. That's good. We won uh, the battle somewhere, Battle of, battle of Coast of Morocco. Oh, apparently they finished putting this guy there, and then they left. A three-man army, a three-thousand-man army. That's that's not so good. You won't be able to do anything with that. So we won this battle. No, 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 there wasn't even any doubt in my mind that we would. Let's keep uh, the clock uh, ticking, shall we? Zero percent, good. Uh, this is good. It means they are sieging through it really, really fast. Uh, I do hope we haven't captured any ship. Oh, and they are uh, repairing in a good ones a good where they should 77 merchantmen uh, trade power zero. Oh yeah and this is a this is a transport so this has trade power of five and well if heavy frigate at level six uh, at level 23. What the hell am I thinking? Uh, 10 years. This one is 8 years ahead. Well, okay. Let's wait for them to join a bit. Sixty-three percent. We need 20 more. That's fine. There will be more plus 7 something. Beculan. Okay. Uh, you are on duty apparently again uh, we are converting this province right there good uh, what oh 
Bengal Delta. Bengal Delta. Oh, is it around here? Yep. Why does it take all that long? We'll see. Let's keep it going. I do think. I think it is because of the the um, equality. Well, the event that we have. This one right there, somewhere around here, probably up here. Nope. Where is it? I cannot seem to find it. Nope. 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 Well, it is due to liberté, equality, fraternity, as you can see there. So uh, that is why. Uh, it is reducing our uh, missionary strength so we won this battle uh, again uh, there wasn't really any doubt that we would we are reinforcing a few armies we just won this, the battle of Cadiz well the Gulf of Cadiz at least so we won that battle good hopefully the siege of Barcelona gets done Fairly fast, 28%, well, 29 now, uh, plus 12, good, so 50% more or less, and someone is trying to uh, make an alliance with us, oh, Ethiopia, again, no, we do not want an Ethiopian alliance right now, well, probably never, we will uh, boost our pretense on that, on that guy, because apparently France is trying to steal it from us. And we do not want that, because if France gets another one and we lose one, then France gets to be the people controller, and I really enjoy being that. So let's actually boost up a bit more, this boost the speed a bit more. Siege of Barcelona is done, 67%. Let's see. Uh, okay, so claimer for peace. That uh, 2.7. Okay, let's see if they would accept. No. Yeah, but only minus 59 uh, right now so good let's uh, continue sieging we do need to, need to continue to siege so there's a claimer for p call for peace uh, war exhaustion plus 0 0.2 if you guys check here uh, since we have optimism uh, we are not gaining any kind of war exhaustion uh, 67 diplomatic points to reduce war exhaustion by two i'm not going to do so um, yep, this is pretty much it. Uh, Asse and Kali Kaliga. There, we have a claim there. And they are not in the coalition against us, so we'll fight them next. And with the might of Spain behind us as well. Well, not so much as might, because apparently they uh, kind of suck. Let's uh, lift that, because it's at minus 14, and they just got another... Um, another uh, uh, reinforcement so to speak because it was uh, Spanish uh, uh, nationalists so hopefully this will fall fast one can hope diplomatic insults in against Hausa sure let's try to ease the tensions sure we are well, we just won another sea battle against Naples. Good. Uh, Swahili left the coalition against us. It's the first time <laughs> in a long, long time that Swahili is not in the coalition against us. Let's see who is in the coalition against us, shall we? Uh, target of the coalition of the Ottomans, Asse, Patani and Garjat. I am going to improve relations with the Ottomans because I do not want them to be in uh, the coalition against me. The relations, improve relations, there we go. If the Ottomans got into the coalition against us, that would be a, a, a bit of a... Well, it, it would suck, basically. So, 756... Uh, no, I am not going to take it. Although, we do need to do something with all these points. So, let's see if we can build something. Temples. Let's see. 72 is the most I can see. Correct? Yep. Nope. We are not going to build uh, a 72 right now. 
uh, in here as well uh, actually well counting house it is a bit expensive so I would prefer if I build uh, tier 1 buildings so let's go for constables nope 84 all right so I guess we'll have to build the 84s 64 no 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 okay so I saw uh, an 84 at least two apparently uh, let's see around here no 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 66 no nope I will build until uh, well 82 is good too I guess 20 40 40 20 no 80 okay let's build the 80s as well 44 22 80 uh, 80 I am going to build until we get to 800 uh, at least if I can 84 okay let's see around here 84 84 84 64 is no 22 20 20 22 20 64 there is a few more well where are they well up here the 20 no nope 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 20 nope and the eastern isle where is it there 20 nope and in the falklands 20 okay so apparently we are going to be building something and this is about to fall uh, move it will you okay so to move it we need to need that guy where is our uh, let's put no leader there and put uh, this guy there there we go uh, so oh well let's hope this is enough apparently Spain is not building any more troops they shouldn't have any more uh, let's see Spain actually their manpower well what the hell happened did I s did I see wrong in the last one and was checking out that or the lower I really do hope not they have a ton of manpower but apparently they are not building any more uh any more uh guys so we palembang okay let's put the leader on that guy 69 percent we really do need a few more uh, sieges to come through so we'll wait and we'll see how it goes 7% in giant, we won the battle of Palembang, okay, okay, and trade embargo is happening, please fall, okay, admiral 50, 50 tradition, that's not bad, not bad at all, let's see, uh, oh, it was this one, yeah, we have one better, so let's kick him, there. Uh, let's see if we can actually improve our uh, diplomatic technology I am going to improve the naval ideas all the way to the top uh, but for now we are going to take up because we really do need to take up and this will give us trade, trade efficiency and trade range so that's all in all a good uh, good uh, thing to have okay naval maintenance Ooh, naval morale and to Decker next okay so I am going to put a stop pretty darn soon hopefully this will fall fast and apparently we won't won't be able to uh, win the, the, the war right now okay so the siege of Jane is over so we have 72 and Jane is only 0 0.8 let's go to uh, well let's go to Valencia and see if we can uh, increase this a bit uh, faster uh, 14 only 14 away so let's try and make peace with these guys if we can no this guy we cannot and with burgundy can we nope but only minus two so with naples we should be able to make peace correct yes so i am going to make white peace with these guys 
because uh, like this uh, um, the, st the strength of the alliance will fall and as such it will be easier for us to make peace and as you see now we can actually make peace with these guys and gain a bit more money nope so we will do this and we formed a personal union uh, with Spain there we go claim on throne uh, we get a ton of aggressive expansion and we are going right now to start increasing improving relations as soon as we can I am going to detach all mercs you have it right there and now this is uh, without an army without the mercs it's it was only one okay and now here all mercenaries go away and we'll pick them and we'll just just do this this way we will be gaining a ton more money we are going to take uh, military technology costs uh, okay and global trade power plus three awesome we'll take uh, the, him as well we will be losing a bit more money as you can see there but this uh, is good this is uh, our armies we'll move them there uh, just so we can uh, get our transport fleet right back up so we'll take the transports move them there Bengal apparently entered the military coalition against us that's to be expected let's uh, do this and split in half these ones will go there and these will uh, merge and hopefully the two decker is around here if not well that's quite all right as well and they will have a ton of frigates and the like and we can actually start to uh, make a bit more navy as you can see we have a ton more navy that we can that we are able to do so we'll see how it goes uh, all in all uh, it was a, a pretty darn good war we won uh, we are in the personal personal union with them although uh, the personal union if we if our monarch died we would end the personal union as you can see there the personal union with portugal ends so we need to improve our relations with those guys and if we had uh, we do not have better diplomatic relations over time i would take it uh, but it is not to be we could uh, check this one and i might actually have to do so but we will see uh, we could actually boost our stability uh, yeah let's boost the stability to plus two i really don't like to do this but uh well it's not so bad this way we'll have a bit more uh, room to work with uh, so i am going to put in a cut in this episode right now we just won the war that we set out uh, to to win uh, we won it uh, fairly easily it was not uh, a tough war to to do uh, right after we crushed that army in Alentejo that was the the defining moment of the war and then it was just managing the little little armies they were building uh, in the mainland and in the well, in this part they haven't actually built any but if they were to build we would need to be uh, to be prepared for uh, prepared for it so I'm going to put our guys right up there and we we will send our uh, armies to where they belong uh, namely in India and we'll see in the next episode what I'm going to do uh, with them uh, we do have our fleet there transport fleet already in place our uh, trade fleet already here I am probably going to boost this to a hundred light ships in this trade node um, but we will see we will gain a lot a lot more trade power as soon as we get uh, the personal union with Spain to come through if we manage to do so so I am going to take a break here as I said so I thank you guys so much for watching uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode until then take care and goodbye